and this is Brooke Beams Big, where I share my expressions of joy. Today is Friday, October 27th, which means it is 1989 Taylor's Version release day. 1989 is my favorite Taylor Swift album, so I am so excited to have this new and complete version. So to celebrate today, we are having a blue day to hype us up to listen to the new album. So as you just saw, my partner and I tried the new blueberry jam that I recently picked up for breakfast and now we are going to the beach because the beach is such blue vibes and such 1989 vibes. So let's go.
Hello friends, we are back. So today we have had a blue breakfast. We have worn our blue outfit to our beach day where there was a blue sky and beautiful blue water. We even had a smidgen of blue ice cream. And now we are home and we are going to do a blue puzzle while we listen to 1989 Taylor's version. And I think that that is a very appropriate activity to do while listening to Taylor Swift. We have now finished listening to the entirety of 1989 Taylor's version. I have to say, right off the bat, I could tell that the actual music production sounded different and I can't say yet whether I don't actually like it as much or whether it's just going to take me a little while to get used to it. It has more of a synth sound and I don't know how big of a fan I am of those kind of sounds honestly and Taylor Swift likes to use them a lot especially lately. As I said before 1989 is my favorite Taylor Swift album. I think because it's when I fell in love with her again in high school. The first time I fell in love with Taylor was debut era. I was very into country as a kid and I loved her country music. So then when she started to get a little less country, kind of more pop country, I wasn't as into it. But then in high school I got really into pop music and she came out with 1989 at like the perfect time to like sync up with my music interests again and I loved it so much. We even did Shake It Off for a choir performance when I was in high school and I did this solo for it. So I was very, very into Taylor Swift in that era and this just takes me back and it reminds me how happy this album makes me. I'm very into the way music sounds. Like, I like lyrics, but when it comes to music, the way the music sounds, like, the way it makes me feel combined with the lyrics is really important, and I love the up-tempo beats of this album so much, and that really just carries throughout the whole thing, and I love it. Even the songs that are slower, like Clean and You Are In Love, have such a nice rhythm to them that I just love them. <laughs> the vault tracks sounded more like Midnight's songs than like 1989 songs. And that doesn't mean that they're bad, but I felt like the vibe was a little different. And I think that has to do with you know, where Taylor is as an artist right now and what she likes right now. There are some of those 1989 rhythms and beats there and they are really amazing songs in a way that reminds me of the Lover era and Death by a Thousand Cuts and Paper Rings where the music and the songs are so intricate along with the lyrics that I really feel like it shows Taylor Swift's growth as an artist since she made 1989 but they don't feel very 1989 to me. <laughs> I am looking forward to listening to them more though because I think with songs like that, I had this experience with Lover too. It takes me a while to kind of sink into them and like immerse them and like really love them a lot. I do still plan to do a sort of journal with me video where I decorate a journaling page, write about all of the blue themed things I did today and write about my overall impressions of the album and my rankings. I think this album will be easier for me to rank songs and other ones just because I'm so much more familiar with these songs than I was with like Speak Now, Taylor's version for instance. I still haven't done that for Speak Now, so I will be doing that for Speak Now and 1989 TV at some point when I get to it. It may be a bit, but if you like Taylor Swift content, watch out for that, as well as the video I will be putting up eventually about my Taylor Swift The Eras Tour concert experience. Until then, thanks for joining me on this journey. Like this video if I made you smile, and if you're up to it, comment something that made you happy today, yesterday, or even just this week. I would love to celebrate it with you. That's the end, friends. Sending you off with love. Goodbye!